is Rabbi Mike Moskowitz. My pronouns are he, him. I am the scholar in residence for Trends and Career Jewish Studies here at CBST, the world's largest LGBT synagogue. Borrowing language from the queer community, I was assigned secular and then came out as Orthodox in high school. Went on a ripping trajectory for about 20 years and now identify as some version of religiously non conforming. I've always seen myself as somebody who's open minded, curious, looking to make sense of the world, especially all of the pain and suffering, try to give it meaning and purpose. It was that open mindedness that allowed me to explore orthodoxy in high school and to really be willing to transition out of a secular existence into one of, uh, of a religious identity. It's that same open-mindedness, curiosity, and commitment to uncover and to discover the divine will that 20 years later brought me to this place. I, like many who are involved in advocacy and allyship, had their beginning because it is personal. For me, there's somebody in my family who transitioned, and it was the first time ever I had thought about gender since I was a kid told which bathroom to use. This book is meant as more of a resource, not necessarily to be read cover to cover. It's organized both by topic and topics and also through the calendar year. It starts with Passover, answering the transgender son, redeeming religion from slavery, uh, Shavuot, cisgendered humility and accepting the Torah, transgender and transcendence, speaking about AIDS and Shavuot, also the three weeks, Rosh Chodesh and Rabbi Splaining, Rosh Hashanah, a time of divine consent, Sukkot, Cloud of Glory, Trans Rights, Hanukkah, Tubishvat, Renewal and Rebirth, Purim, Back to the Garden, Purim, Patriarchy and a Path Forward, I am a boy and these are my clothes, Allyship is Spiritual Practice, Noah's Ark, A Failed Allyship. Many of these articles have been co-authored, folks of different faith-based traditions. My favorite is around climate change and the way in which faith-based communities come together after the storm, but do very little to prevent it. Although many of the essays are at the intersection of the trans experience in Jewish thought and Jewish law, there are also articles on immigration, active consent, climate change, the Children's Victim Act. Some are in BaptistNews.com, others are in Out.com. There's something here for everybody uh, because these truths are eternal. Whether you're Jewish or have a different faith-based tradition or just somebody of good conscience, these articles invoke a a yearning for improving the plight and lives of all of humanity. This past November had a ballot initiative in Massachusetts that would have legalized discrimination against trans folks in public spaces. So many of the articles that are written here reference the work in preparation to bring awareness to Vote Yes on the Free in Massachusetts to protect trans rights. If I had to choose the first essay, Answering the Transgender Son, is my favorite. It's the first one that I ever published, and it still resonates deeply with me today. This book is available on Amazon. It's a great bar about mitzvah or a mitzvah gift. Please pick up a copy for your synagogue, for your rabbi, for your summer camp, for your university. It is my modest hope that my small contribution can do its part and encourage others to do the same to really change this world. Do 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 do